video starts, I wanted to let you know that I wrote a book called Be Free, and if you're interested in reading that, it's my story, overcoming shame, depression, all the things, and how I stepped into a life of freedom, joy, grace, all those things. There's a link to that to purchase in the description box below. Okay, enjoy the video. Hello there people of the world and welcome to today's episode of Coffee Chats with Jax. So last night I saw the new Amy Schumer movie called I Feel Pretty and I just want to say that I left that movie theater feeling so beyond empowered and inspired and excited and so many things because I'm not sure if you've seen the movie and I don't want to spoil it for those of you who have not seen the movie. I guess to sum up what wouldn't be ruining anything is just that it's a movie about a girl, Amy Schumer, who is in her eyes is really not beautiful. In her eyes, she believes she's really overweight. She believes that she is not pretty, that people don't like her because of what she looks like. And then she gets hit on the head and she looks in the mirror and thinks that there's some kind of magical power that made her beautiful. So she looks in the mirror and she sees some like super cliche skinny model girl when really nothing changed about her. She just got hit on the head, which is kind of hilarious. But she sees herself in the mirror as beautiful. So she starts going outside and acting like she's beautiful. She starts going outside and just like, genuinely believes that she is because she sees someone else in the mirror and so she goes out with this insane confidence in who she is and that makes people really really like her this guy ends up falling in love with her she gets the job of her dreams and all this stuff which she thinks is because she's beautiful quote unquote but really it's just because she's really confident and she just doesn't know that it really brought a lot to my attention because if you guys have been watching my videos for any certain amount of time or read my book or things like that you'll know that I have struggled with body image issues myself and that's something that I haven't really come quite to terms with like for real until last I suppose November December time which is when I realized that I had been going the past three or four years of my life with a little bit of an eating disorder I've mentioned this in previous videos but just to give a quick recap I was told when I was around I think like 17 years old I lost a lot of weight because I got really sick when I got my wisdom teeth out and I was told back then how incredibly amazing it is that I looked so skinny and how that was so awesome and so cool and whatever I'm doing I should keep doing it and it got in my head so much because the person that was telling me this was like a really I put this person up on like a pedestal and he was pretty much what decided what was pretty and not pretty for me and that one thing led to another that kind of developed into this pattern of an eating disorder for me where I tried to eat barely anything at all like two bites of everything and that developed over the past three or four years until last November December time when I kind of came face to face with it and realized that I wanted to tackle this head-on being insecure about your body and what you look like is one of the most isolating embarrassing things that we feel because I used to not talk about it like at all this was like a total shaming topic for me and I just wanted to avoid it but the second I started to kind of realize that I wanted to get through it and get on the other side I mean it kind of started because I was called out from a friend of mine that really just cared I think and she really just noticed my eating patterns and habits and wanted to bring it to my attention and see if I was okay I was also dealing with some really difficult emotional problems back then I was struggling really really hard with depression for about three months straight it was the darkest worst headspace that I had been in in a really long time it made me not eat and by not eating what I later found out that feeds into the depression so it turned out that they ended up going hand in hand because when you're not getting the nutrition that you need all your hormones are gonna be off balance all your internal mental state is not gonna be right and so it helped me kind of stay down in that depressed state feeling depressed like I was for those three months back then that was the worst thing in the world to me and I wanted to do anything in my power to get out of that. So if that meant eating food, then that meant that I really wanted to work through whatever kind of mental pattern I had been living by, telling me that I was only lovable if I was really skinny. The more I started talking about it, the more I realized that a lot of people actually struggle with this. It's not just me, a lot of people have this voice in the back of their head telling them that they need to be skinny to be pretty. They need to be really skinny to be lovable or good enough or in control of their lives, whatever it is telling them that. For me, me, it was being skinny meant I was lovable for you it might be something different but the more I started talking about this the more I realized that it wasn't such a taboo topic that a lot of the time someone's just waiting for someone else to bring it up and right now I want to be that person to bring it up because whether it's an eating disorder or just an insecurity that it's hard to kick it matters it's important and seeing that movie last night the moral of the whole story was just knowing who you are seeing how beautiful you are and how we're all created so different and so beautiful the 
that beauty comes from being so aware and comfortable with who we are, what we look like, what we're made to be. Beauty is not defined by the media. First of all, beauty is not defined by culture. Beauty is defined in so many different ways. It's not this cookie cutter, thought out, size 0.1 model on the cover of a magazine. And I think that's so beautiful because our society these days are getting a lot better at noticing that. And I think that I'm excited for us millennials, as they like to call us, to really take charge and take lead in the world because as much as we get ragged on all the time, I think that there's a lot of good that's gonna come from this generation. This is the first generation that's really, really talking about vulnerability and authenticity and words that genuinely saved my life. But this also is a generation that's changing the standards of what beauty looks like. And I just want to be a voice in that. I want to be a voice next to this movie, I Feel Pretty, to just say that we need to know who we are because confidence in that is beauty. We need to know who we are and celebrate what makes us us and get to offer our true selves in some kind of social situation. Our mental health matters and we need to stop pretending like it's something to be ashamed of if we have a problem. I'm excited because I'm learning that food isn't, it isn't something to be afraid of and that might sound silly saying that on this camera but I've come a long way in the last five months of learning that. Of learning that food is actually, it's fuel for us to be able to do what we need to do in the day. It's actually what helps us be able to use our brain, be able to create what we wanna create and pursue what we wanna pursue. We can't do that without food. And this sounds so simple and obvious, but these are things that I've been having to ingrain in my head because when you're trained in a certain way into thinking that food is going to make you not lovable, that's a lot of unlearning to do. And that's what I've been doing. And the more I talk about this with other people that have been through this, the more it feels not impossible to get through. So if you guys have been there with me in that place, if you guys have been in a place of being scared to feed yourself because you're scared that it's going to change the way that you look and it's going to make people not love you, it's going to make you not look attractive, then just know that you are not alone. And then I just want to be a voice of hope to tell you that it gets better and it gets easier. And once we get through the hard part of realizing it, because it was a scary time when I was first kind of faced head on with what it means to struggle with an eating disorder. Order. When we get to face that and learn that, once we get on the other side, there's a lot of life there. There's a lot of joy there. We were born with so many gifts and talents and beautiful things about us. There's not a part of you that's a mistake. It doesn't work that way. And we need to celebrate how we're all connected, but we also need to celebrate how we're all so different and unique and special. And, and I'm just excited. And I feel like this generation coming in here is gonna make some serious improvements on society. Thank you for watching this video. I love you. I hope that you have a good rest of your day. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Guys, before you leave, I wrote a book called Be Free. It is my life story, basically overcoming shame, depression, all that stuff, and how I entered into a life of joy and grace and freedom. That link to my book's description box below called Be Free. Or if you guys want to support me on Patreon, it's basically my fan-funded label where you can pledge a dollar a video, three dollars a video, five dollars a video, whatever you're comfortable with. That link is also in the description box below and also be free merch. I got hats, I got pillows, I got tank tops, bags, mugs, all the things. Description box below if you are interested in that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.